Well, good afternoon, gang. I'm uh, doing another make ready rental. Uh, this one had a lot of structural cracks in there, and, and so I'm repairing cracks all over the place. Uh, so you can see, just here's one. But here's the problem I'm running into on this one. I don't know if you, yeah, you, I think you can see it. Look how big this damn knockdown texture is. It's huge. And I gotta tell you right now, as good as I like this Homax Pro Grade, <laughs> even on its very best day, it's not gonna match stuff like this. Just not gonna do it. It's just that it doesn't get that big. Now, if I had my Warner, um, uh, spray text a texture gun it would regular hopper gun obviously would but I don't have those and Don't want to pull them out especially just for some patch jobs. So here's what I've done I went ahead and hit this patch with home X Let it set a couple minutes knocked it down now as you can see It just doesn't get big the blobs are not that big. So if you're dealing with monster monster knockdown like this look at that if you're dealing with stuff like that leave the home well I you know I did use the home max so I, I needed small texture because you got also have small texture in this but you know I mean only an idiot would patch this and not be able to match this texture or make the texture blend um, so anyway here's what I've done I call it my monkey flinging poo heavy knockdown texture technique and I don't think I can get all that in the YouTube title bug. So anyway, but what I've done, I've got a, and it's best to use lightweight. Plus this plus three is great for this stuff. And all you're going to do, and we're just trying to get some big ass texture knockdown on here. We're just going to, we're going to work this up a little bit. And get some of I'm just taking little balls like this. And you want to go on the outside. I first throw the little balls. Or, you know, you're not getting real balls, but just, you know, hold just like this. And you really should have a drop cloth. I should, but all my drop cloths are in the other rooms right now that I'm painting. And this will be okay. This stuff will come up off the carpet. And I don't, I'm not even sure they're going to keep the carpet. So I'm just throwing it there. Then I'm flicking what's left. Just grab another little bit of mud right there. Oh, I'd make a beautiful one right there. It needs to be a little stiff. Uh, if it's really, really wet, it's not going to do good. <laughs> there you go. I'll let this set between five and ten minutes come back knock it down I've done sanded and feathered the edges you need to do that first and um, now I'll come back and do these others I just did this one just to show you what we're doing uh, I've got one in here I haven't painted yet I've done knocked it down let me show you this one okay here's one I did I painted the room because I'm in a hurry and uh, this is the first coat so anyway uh, you can see the um, beige looking stuff is the wet home X uh, That I put on there and by the way this one went let's see I'm looking through the camera This crack went right up this way. So I feathered it out Put the home X on there uh, Knocked it down. Let's say then come back with my my monkey flinging poo technique and um, Put some more on there uh, as you hopefully you can pick this up see how flat large and flat that's not gonna match exactly but it will blend with all this other big ass knockdown that's on this wall and uh we've got another one in here i've done knocked it down by the way always check your drop cloths before you unfold them make sure you didn't use it to hold something um done painted over this one i don't know if you can see that or not well, you can see it up here because I haven't cut it in yet. So I was just trying to see. As you can see, it's going to be really close matching texture. Unless you know exactly where it's at. And even if you do, you probably won't notice it because your eyes are going to be drawn to all the other big ass knockdown textures on the wall. This home was built in the 70s, 
I believe. Uh, maybe 80s, I don't know, early 80s, but whenever heavy knockdown texture was in vogue. So there you go. If you run in, I mean, I uh, hear people all the time, see on home max but, but the texture of the can didn't match my texture. Well, that's probably cause, half of that's because you didn't know how to use it. I hate to admit it, guys, but uh, yeah, so you want to wash it off. But the other is sometimes you just gotta think outside the box. You're not gonna get that big ass texture like that, like I said, out of a Homex can. You'll get it out of a, a Warner, um, I think it's a spray tex gun or a real hopper, but you know, I don't wanna bring my compressor, my hoses, my hopper gun, just for a couple uh, crap repairs. I'm gonna dig out my Homex, I mean my Warner, Wagner, I call it Warner. I'm thinking ladders now. Wagner, Powertex, Spraytex, whatever they call it. I need to get that out and do, a, uh, I guess, a tutorial on how to use that thing. It's, those things are great. So anyway, that's how to do it. Um, once this dries, I've just seen some texture I've flung over there fall off. But once this dries between 5 and 10 minutes, i got a 14-inch uh, drywall trowel. I'll come and knock that down and it's going to blend and um, guys it, it just doesn't take that much effort especially when you're dealing with with texture like this uh, a five-year-old could make this stuff blend i mean you just throw a big gob of mud on the wall along with some little gobs and knock it down <laughs> don't be this guy whoever did this in the past don't be this guy uh, I am not even sure what that is. That's kind of flexible there. So it's probably cardboard or something. So anyway, hey, Donald, blue collar, DIY.com. Thank y'all for checking this video out. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below and click that little bell so you get a not notification every time I post a video. I've got some good stuff in the works if I work will ever slow down um, um, for y'all. I think you enjoy. So anyway, uh by the way another tip really quick yeah i know squirrel um this is a horrible horrible corner job now like i say this home has movement and in the homes that do have movement i will come back with, with latex acrylic caulk um or elastomeric caulk or, as long as it is paintable and do the corners but like this this is a half-ass junky job right there Somebody didn't care, probably the renter, but anyway, I'm going to have to cut all this out. May have to come back and mud and tape it. I don't think so. I think I can just get a good bead of caulk in that corner and be done. So anyway, hey, that it works great. Um, if you've got a corner that is susceptible to cracking, like in this house, he hadn't had it uh, peered up or nothing because... Frankly, it's a rent house and it's not really that worth spending the money right now because it's not that bad. Just every four or five years, you have to come back and pay somebody like me to fix the crack. So anyway, and paint it. So anyway, hey, y'all have a good one. I got to get back to, to working on my real job. Catch you later. Donald out.